Hello calculus. We're going to do some test prep problems for 2.2. So again, remember this is you looking for some help after you've already attempted to do these on your own. So the first problem we have here that the derivative is going to be this thing. So this is just the definition of the derivative. Uh, for what value of x does f of x equal 4? In order to do this, we need to know what does f of x equal. So remember that the definition of the derivative is always f of x plus h and then we're subtracting the original function. So I always just kind of go to the minus the original function part because that right there is going to help me know for sure what is the original function, which is just x squared. So we can put that there, and now if f of x equals x squared, all you're doing here is just saying 4 equals x squared, and you solve that thing and get your answer. For number two, this is uh, one that probably has one of the most questions of the year on any test prep question because it is a weird one. And I'll be honest, it took me a while to figure out myself when I was first doing it. So what is f prime? Uh, if this, this, all this stuff's really confusing. So I'm just going to start off with this. What's f prime? Well, I know that f prime has to be something like what we talked about before, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, right? So if that's what the, oh wait, I should, I missed something important. The limit as h approaches zero of that whole thing. So let's move that up here, make it smaller because that's too big. So if this is what the limit is with my sloppy handwriting, uh, and that gives us the definition of the derivative, then now let's use these other parts that we have. f of x plus h. This right here is just some made up rule that they're giving us that's for this problem and this problem only. It's not a normal rule, it's just they're saying if this is equivalent to that, well look what we have here, if f of x plus h. So instead of x plus y, we're just saying x plus h. So now that becomes the limit as h approaches zero of, so now what's f of x plus h? It's f of x times f of h. f of x times f of h. Uh, and then we're going to subtract f of x, and that's all over h. So from here, so again, that was probably the hardest part, was trying to recognize this f of x plus h is this right here, that rule. So now from here, you can notice that what do these two terms have in common? They have an f of x. So you're going to factor around an f of x, and then we get what's left here, f of h minus a 1, and then that's all over h, and we still have the limit part, so this the limit is h approaches 0. Now from here, you should be able to recognize, hopefully up here, the limit as h approaches 0 of f of h minus 1. Well, there you go. That right there is the same thing as 6. And so from there, you should be able to get the right answer. Number 3, which of the following gives the derivative of f of x equals x squared at that particular point? So when we do this, that just means that our x value right there is going to be a 2. So when we write out the definition of the derivative, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of, whoop, so all over h, we're going to have f of x plus h. So that's x squared. So we're going to have x plus h quantity squared, but instead of an x, I'm going to put a 2. Minus, now we just put f of x, or in other words, x squared. But notice instead of the x's, again, I'm putting a 2 because I know it has to go through that point. So that allows us to just plug the point straight in. So now all this is is recognizing which of these problems matches that answer, and then there you go. All right, good luck on that mastery check.